Hello guys, it looks like the market will finally escape the bond, the bond inflicted sell-off, but it just couldn't break free. So in the end, Nasdaq sold off massively. It, it finished 2.4% in the red. S&P followed, Dow, Dow Jones being the only one in the green. But there were still a few stocks that were doing its thing and GameStop was one of them. It finished just under $200, that key level, uh, more than 40% uh, gain in one day. So congratulations to all of you that uh, jumped in early and seen massive gains. But the main question is, will this continue into tomorrow? Before we dive in, if you enjoy watching my, uh, my videos, Please show me some love down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like the video. Now GameStop has been going bonkers for the last month. It went from $40 all the way up to $450 and it retraced back to $40 and is now doing its thing again. But there is something different this time around. Two weeks ago, it jumped from $40 all the way up to $200 on the tweet of Cohen uh, just posting an ice cream. But today, it was announced that Cohen will be spearheading the strategy change of GameStop. This is a much bigger catalyst for GameStop because if we, if we summarize all of this saga it was just one massive free media media attention for gamestop which will sooner or or later translate into sales and those sales will catalyze further growth but for the time being it is putting pressure on on short sellers and upward pressure on the stock price. $200 has been tested now two times, once two weeks ago and the second time today. It couldn't just break that key level, but tomorrow we could see the break of that level. If that happens, 300 is the next target. And if it breaks 300, 400 is the next target because it's it's just that kind of stock that has massive sentiment uh, a, a lot of uh, it's still heavily shorted meaning that when those short sellers are going to put are going to be put uh, on the back pedal they are going to have to cover and even further fueling the stock increase so let's just see a few facts. Marketbit has it that uh, GameStop is still 30% shorted. It's, it's come a long way from being shorted more than 100% of its available shares, but 30% is still a massive amount of shorts. Usually, companies are shorted at the max 5 to 10 percent. 30 percent is really extreme. And it just seems that these shorts can never learn their lesson. So I'm, I'm very happy that you're putting them uh, on their back foot and that they're going to pay once again for their mistakes. <laughs> put it plainly. If we see, if we look at the daily chart, we see a very nice cup uh, forming on the, on the daily chart in the last 14 days, with today being a massive green candle going into tomorrow, it could push us over that key 200 level resistance and with that 
you could very 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 likely see three hundred dollars or even four hundred dollars because the sentiment with this stock it's very strong and once it runs a lot of people pile in their two cents if we can say it that now on the 10 minute chart we can see that that uh, the stock tried to break 200 levels uh, 200 dollars level today two times both times it just didn't have enough punch to break through and hold that level but we can see that in the after hours the stock is not falling down but still trying to capture that key level meaning that going into tomorrow we are probably going to see it break through that level because it is going in strong with good support with good catalyst and also market bit has it that there are some some uh, a good position of uh, of shorts of short uh, sellers shares are coming due tomorrow meaning they will have to cover which could which could put us even higher now if that is not all enough watch what this stock will be doing towards the end of the week because there is probably another gamma squeeze coming because there are just so many options outstanding at the moment and a lot of them are coming into the money meaning that market ma makers will have to will have to buy uh, will have to buy a good number of shares of this company just to be ready if people start exercising their options that they are able to deliver their shares so happy hunting tomorrow i hope you capture a lot of shorts that we see it break to 200 level and then 300 level and that we see that 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 all-time highs and that for everyone that could have been captured at all time highs that they get another chance to release their bags and see and see some profits and that once again we make the short sellers pay so let me know down in the comments at what levels or at what prices did you manage to get in and if you are excited to see what tomorrow brings. Bye!